Okay, it's Dan Book McNoggin here, and everybody's making their, you know, future plans for 2022, so I figured I would make mine. I might as well, even though I kind of took a break. Um, I'll admit there's been kind of a lot going on in my personal life. I don't really, I try not to bring that kind of stuff to my channel. I don't want to be one of these people that kind of like tells you every little problem I have going on in my life because I know that I feel like that's kind of tacky and uncalled for and you guys aren't here for that kind of stuff. You're here to hear about books. So yeah, I kind of had some very trying times starting around Thanksgiving time. My son was in the hospital. He was sick. Um, we found out he had a congenital birth defect that he has to have an operation for. And then my wife's car died, and we had to go and lease a newer car for her. So yeah, things have been kind of stressful, and I've just... With that, on top of the whole pandemic thing, um, I've been an essential worker through the entirety of the pandemic. So I feel like I've been very stressed out because of, like not getting bonus money like people who were paid to stay home basically so I didn't really get that and I really if I would have got you know a bonus $600 a week I probably would have been investing that shit because that's just how I am because I'm always planning for the future but you know unfortunately I wasn't one of those people who got that option so yeah and my kitty cats they're all over the place because they want to be in this room with me they're not you didn't want to stay out. So yeah, this is my new my new filming life. <laughs> I kind of wonder how many YouTubers will film stuff and it never sees the light of day. Like how many people like film stuff and it doesn't get uploaded. Because this is my second take trying to do the 2022 future plans. Um, <clears throat> so with all of that, if you haven't noticed, if you if maybe you're new here, maybe you're new here. Um, I've been kind of trying to do a little bit less. Um, I was trying because I know YouTube's always like, you have to be consistent, upload on a regular schedule. And I feel like from my vantage point, I feel like because I've been burned out the past two years, I feel like the last couple of months, my content has been subpar. Um, I feel like I have not been putting out the best content that I could possibly put out. And I feel like, I feel like the stuff I've been reading, I just feel like I haven't been enjoying the stuff I've been reading as much as I had before. Um, I've been doing this channel for like roughly around 10 years. So I've been doing YouTube for a while, for a long time, and I'm trying to do, follow all the rules, you know, that YouTube says you're supposed to do to have success and to maintain growth and all that, so... Yeah, um, it's starting to get to me, and I think now, the future of my channel as it is, I'm not going to be sticking to a weekly schedule. Um, I'm going to be leaning more towards um, doing videos like when I feel like there's something that that is important to share with you guys. Nieve, what are you doing? Can you please stop biting my hair? But yeah, um, I'm going to be putting out videos like... Probably not as often or as frequently as I had in the past. Um, there was at one point where I was putting out like three to four videos a week. And I can no longer do that. I just don't have the energy or the motivation to do that. Um, I don't know. People probably don't really pay attention. But I lost a lot of subscribers when I stopped uploading on a weekly basis. So, like, I've had, like, I gained a bunch of subscribers, but then I lost a bunch at the same time. So, yeah, I'm, it's kind of, you know, with the whole discouraging, and I, yeah, I shouldn't fall victim to the numbers game, but, you know, it's kind of frustrating when you, you gain so many and then you see you're losing some at the same time. You Okay, let's try that again. So, one of the things I'm going to continue doing, okay, so, like... I'm going to be hosting a Dune read-along in February this coming year because I do plan on rereading um, the Dune books that I've currently already read. Uh, Brad Proctor had mentioned that he was willing to do a read-along with me. 
So if there's anyone else who wants to join in on this read-along, I will ha I'll be hosting it on my own Discord. Um, I will have a link to Discord down below so you guys can come and check that out. Um, like I said, we're going to be rereading... I'm going to be rereading Dune. Brad's going to be reading it for the first time in February. Um, so yeah, there's going to be that. I'm going to be reading because I'm, I'm kind of... I feel like I'm reading a lot of the same genres, and I feel like I need to kind of need a break from horror. I mean, I am a huge horror fan. I've always read horror since I was younger. But, you know, I'm also a huge Dune fan at the same time, so I want to reread those books. Um, I've re already read Dune, the first Dune book, probably like four or five times. So this is probably like my fifth or sixth time reading it. But yeah... <clears throat> There's that, and I will have the link to Discord down below if you want to participate in that Dune read-along. And, of course, as always, I'm going to, you know, I, the videos are not going to be as frequent as they had been in the past. I think that's the only change I'm really going to do. I mean, I may come to a point where, like, I want to upload more videos more frequently and then I will do that if I ever come to that point but I feel like I'm so burned out at this time of my life that I just like I said I've been doing this channel for about 10 years and you know the numbers games kind of discouraging sometimes I feel like I really don't fit into the community um, I feel like, sometimes I feel like people just aren't interested in my channel. Stuff like that, you know, like, so uh, trying to motivate myself to film and upload and all that stuff. And then you gotta edit videos and then when I have distractions like my cats wanting attention and stuff like that. So stuff happens. But yeah, that's basically my plans for 2022. I'm going to keep reading the stuff I read. Um, I'm just going to include reading the Dune series. And I already had started that. Like, I had read, reread The House of Trades, And I didn't realize at the time that I had reread House of Trades that I thought of a valid point as to why you should read the original Dune series by Frank Herbert was because there's events that are alluded to in the prequel to Dune books that you kind of have to have read Heretics in Chapter House to really understand what they're talking about in these house books. Because they talk about a, an, an event that leads to the formation of this group who is like the anti... Um, the anti Bene Gesserit, they're the honored matrons, so you kind of have to know about them from Chapter House and Heretics of Dune to really understand what's going on in the house books. I kind of feel like it helps improve your enjoyment of the books, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now, and I'm going to have to edit this sometime later today or tomorrow or whatnot, and I don't know. I'm going to try to upload it before the first of the year. But, you know, like I said, shit's been crazy, so it is what it is, but that's all I got for you guys. I will try to remember to put that Discord link down below, and I'm going to try to remind people, like, on Twitter. I don't know if not everybody follows me on Twitter or not, but if you follow me on Twitter, that's, like, and the community page here on YouTube. I'm going to try to make a point of making sure that I keep putting up the Discord link so people will join it. Um, I don't know any other ways to try to get growth on the Discord channel. But I feel like it would be a really... And of course, we're not going to do spoilers. If we do spoilers, we're going to black them out. So if you don't want to be spoiled, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, enough of me rambling. That's all I got for you for now. Alright, till next time, stay healthy and be good to each other.